I'm Adam Goodwin and I'm joined by Joe Davis. Hey, right Adam. And this is your social media roundup. There's been plenty of entertaining and interesting things on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube this weekend. And we're going to let you know of all the best ones that we've seen. Yep, so there's only one place to start really and that's in Birmingham. Uh, it was a second city derby between Aston Villa and Birmingham yesterday uh, with Villa winning 4-2. I don't know if you've seen the game, Ad, but there were some fantastic moments there, there wasn't it? Uh, Villa fans, probably the best for them was when right-back Alan Hutton stormed through the uh, Birmingham defence and slotted the ball home to make it 4-2, end the game really, and make sure Villa picked up the three points. He's been com um, compared to Cafu this morning. They call him the Sc a Scottish Cafu. Also being compared to Messi and Maradona. Yeah, I think you're taking a bit too far there. But I think Villa fans will think he's yeah. as good as them anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was a fantastic day for Villa fans, as you can see be behind us, uh, Jack Grealish and Alan Hutton celebrating the victory. <laughs> To non league now, and I don't know if you've seen this stat flyer on social media this morning, but it's absolutely crazy. Uh, it's about Chesterfield's current run of form, right? So they're currently 18 league matches without a win, which is equal in their club record. Uh, they've also drawn their last eight matches, which is also a club record. But despite that, because they're unbeaten in their last 11 matches in all competitions, it's their best run for 12 years. Um, which I just think is absolutely a crazy it's ridiculous, stat, isn't, isn't it, it? Really, um, but none of that unfortunately changes the fact they're twenty first in the national league and they're in danger of relegation. That'll be a, a great one for a pub quiz <laughs> in a few years' <laughs> time, I think. Imagine it will be. Um, so we're on to the last story now, um, and it's quite a shocking one, really. It's uh, to do with the, the Copa Libertadores second leg uh, between Boca Juniors and River Plate. Uh, the first leg, uh, first leg ended two all, uh, with Boca Juniors getting two away goals, so they hold the advantage. But the second leg was actually postponed on Saturday after crowd trouble, rescheduled for Sunday. And it was postponed again because of more crowd trouble. River Plate fans attacking the Boca team bus, throwing objects at the bus uh, with the windows breaking. And uh, actually, some of the Boca Juniors players have uh, been injured. Um, we've got some shocking fan footage of, of what happened. Um, and it's unclear what's going to happen from here. We don't know whether the second leg will be played at mm. all. So it's quite, quite a shocking one, mm. really, Ad. <laughs> that everyone uh, stays safe and the game goes ahead. Yep. And that's all for today. Thanks for joining us on our social media roundup. Be sure to keep up with our website and social medias for all of the latest sports news.